come on down here. We are so, so sorry to see you go, man. Yeah, exactly. Nicole's first impression guest was Bill Murray. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Wayne Newton. Yeah. yeah. Your no. first impression guest, Martin Short. We know oh, you love him. This is Ringo Starr. You heard of me. Robin Thicke. Your first impression guest was Bob Newhart. Yeah. The legendary Mr. Paul Inca. Kitty. Right. Yeah, Nick. You said Jerry Springer. Jerry. Jerry. Neil Sadaka. That's a good guy. Mr. J. Farrell, who is this rock star? Paul Simon. Ah. Take it off. Take it off. It was another healthy week on The Masked Singer, and the broccoli head was chopped off. But in this week's episode, me and Kyle tell you guys our favorite performances, share some exciting news, and Kyle exposes yet another vegetable. And yes, you guys, it's the one you've been waiting for, so stay tuned. Who is that? Hi, I'm Mel. And I'm Kyle. And welcome to the Talent Recap Show. Kyle, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Mel. Okay, so happy Thanksgiving, everyone watching the show right now. Kyle, what are you thankful for? Let's start it off with some sentimental, sentimental feeling. <laughs> I'm thankful for you, Mel, that we get to spend this time together on Thanksgiving. Uh, and I'm thankful for all of the food and drinks that I just consumed before this. So if I fall asleep during this, it's not because I'm not interested. I'm just so full. <laughs> he has a big reveal, or should I say expose, that he's doing later in the episode. Hopefully, the little drinks that he's had doesn't affect, you know, who he's going to reveal. <laughs> but um, I'm thankful for you, Kyle, as well. I'm thankful for the whole Talent Recap fam, including you guys, of course. You've rocked with us all season for the past seasons, and we love you guys so much. But you know what? I think it's time for us to get into this week's episode, another character was revealed and it was none other than the broccoli as paul anka kyle you were right once again yes we knew it and you know no matter how many times i try to pronounce his name i don't think i got it right like <laughs> once but we knew who it was you get the idea and yeah i mean this was a really talented group you know i was surprised that Mushroom ended up being in the sing-off. I thought for sure it would be Jellyfish. Yeah. But based off the performances this week, I think it makes sense, and I think the right people are moving on to the Super 6. Absolutely. Now, I have to say, though, um, I think we need to get into why the episode came in on a Thursday versus how it usually comes on a Wednesday. Why didn't that happen, Kyle? Yeah, you know, I think they just had this whole Thanksgiving-themed episode, and so... You know, if they have the space in their schedule to air it on Thanksgiving, why not? Maybe they thought they would get a few more viewers by airing it on Thursday. But I really think it was just kind of to switch things up a little bit and try to get a few more viewers this week for their holiday special. Listen, there was NFL. There were the game, the football game playing. So, and you know, a lot of people were drinking a little something. They left the TV on. The Mass Singer probably got a lot more views from that. Hey, we are not knocking it. <laughs> But I think it's time for us to get into our favorite performances of the week. Kyle, who was your favorite performance? My favorite performance of the week was from the SmackDown, and it was Mushroom singing A Song For You by Donny Hathaway. Kyle, I feel like this was Mushroom's best performance. I feel like that too. I mean, I think tonight was actually really strong for Mushroom. Again, I was surprised that he even ended up in the SmackDown, but then when it came down to that situation, he showed up and proved why he's sticking around. Absolutely. Now, I've, I've come to the conclusion, though, I'm, I'm really scared of Mushroom's costume, and I just wanted to say this out loud, you guys. Let us know. Am I the only one who's kind of creeped out by Mushroom's costume? I love his talent, and I love his voice, but it's really starting to, like, trigger me now. It's the eyes. It's really the eyes for me. Yep. But you know what? Let me get into my favorite performance of the week. It was Jellyfish singing none other than um, Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. Kyle, I just love the jellyfish's energy. She's like cute and tiny, and I just, I, she's an energetic ball. I love it. Yeah, and I think her confidence has gone up so much since her first performance. I think the first one we saw her so nervous up there, and now that she's singing this upbeat song and just having so much fun with it, I mean, I think this, again, for her, was one of her strongest performances and probably what kept her out of the SmackDown. 
Absolutely agree with you. And this is what I love about The Masked Singer because you are literally seeing the growth of these performances. And it's like every other talent show. You know, some of these people are not professional singers, so you literally see them get better at their craft on the show. So it's really beautiful to see. Yeah. Let us know in the comments, you guys, who was your favorite performance of the week? Do you agree with me and Kyle? Do you think Mushroom's costume is scary? I'm just kind of like creeped out over it. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. But I think it's time for our favorite segment of the day. You guys, yes, Kyle is going to expose yet another character on The Masked Singer. Now, Kyle, usually I'll ask you who you're about to expose, but you literally have one character left. I'll let you tell everyone who that character is. Exactly. So we are revealing the mushroom this week. Mushroom. Now, a lot of people in last week's video were asking away, telling you they need to know who the mushroom is. I got a question. You've been pretty confident most of the season. You had a little rocky, you know, a little rocky expose a couple of week ago. So I just want to say, are you confident about this this mushroom reveal? How do you feel about it? You, you know, this is probably one of the ones that I'm not super confident about, but looking at all the clues, hearing the voice, I think there are enough things there to piece together who our prediction is. Kyle, you make me nervous because last time you said this, you changed your prediction. So I know. So we're hoping to stay away from that this time around. Okay, cool. Who is the mushroom, Kyle? The mushroom is, drum roll, aloe black. So yeah, Aloe Black, the clue that initially drew me to him, you know, he's someone who has kind of been mentioned online, but not very much. But then the clue tonight about him using a different name than when he was born, Aloe Black is surprisingly not his birth name, sarcastically. Uh, he was born Egbert Nathaniel Dawkins III. My birth name is Nathaniel. Nathaniel. But I go by Aloe Black. And so that was the first clue that really brought me on to Aloe Black. Next, we saw the Hamilton clues in his first clue package. And Aloe Black was on the Hamilton mixtape singing Wrote My Way Out with Lin-Manuel Miranda. Uh, he also said that he sprouted up underground. And Aloe Black was a member of an indie rap group called Eminon, which is no name backwards. Fun fact. Uh, and so that was very big in the underground rap community. And so I think that's a perfect explanation for a very specific clue. Uh, he also said that he started in a rat race with a surprising job. And Aloe Black worked at Ernst & Young, the accounting firm, uh, before making music his career. Uh, he also is seen on stage with some judges and Aloe Black was on MTV's The Cut. Um, when he was a member of Eminon, which was a song competition show on MTV hosted by Lisa Left Eye Lopez from TLC. Uh, he also talks about turning a hobby into a career. And I watched this interview with Aloe Black where he literally talks about how music was just a hobby for him. He was releasing music, you know, in high school, but it took a while for it to actually become a career for him. So, you know, explaining his job at Ernst & Young and how he went to college and, and everything. All that time, music was just a hobby. And then, you know, he finally had a chance to make it a career after all of that. For me, music was always a hobby. It was always the pastime. And in school, as a, as a student, I was a scholar. I was an academician. I was all about straight A's. So there was no chance that music was a career choice. We've also seen a lot of 10-gallon hats in the clues which a lot of people think point to Pharrell, who wears them a lot. And Aloe Black has had songs produced by Pharrell before and has worked with him. So there's that connection. Uh, we also saw Orange Juice in the second clue package. Uh, and Aloe Black is from Orange County. We also saw him hold a tray of two black beetles. And Aloe Black has only had a few television appearances, but one of them was on Blackish and one of them was on Beat Bugs. So I think that explains those as well. Um, and in this week's clue package, his friend uh, talked about how he was class president and had over a 4.0. And Aloe Black, in that same interview, you know, where I talked about how uh, he was talking about turning his hobby into a career, uh, he also talked about how he was senior class president. I was a scholar. I was an academician. I was senior class president. And he was at USC on, on big scholarships, so he was clearly a good student. Um, this week's clues also talked about him donating to a lot of charitable causes, uh, especially that help children. And Aloe Black has been involved in a ton of, of those types of efforts uh, and philanthropies, including Malaria No More. 
Um, we also saw a bowl in this week's clue package, and Aloe Black attended the Melbourne Red Bull Music Academy. Uh, and finally, we saw a wrestling ring, and Aloe Black performed at WrestleMania 31. So all of that along with his voice, which you know, it's pretty distinct, and I think we especially saw that in this week's performance of A Song For You by Donny Hathaway. And Donny Hathaway happens to be one of Aloe Black's favorite performers, so I think that just sealed the deal for me, that the mushroom is Aloe Black. Makes total sense, Kyle. I mean, you said you were nervous, but you sound pretty confident, and I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like you should be nervous. I'm with you. I'm, I'm <laughs> rocking with you on this, this guest right here. All right, I'll take it. You know, and I think that's one thing, even if you're not confident, saying it with confidence and a lot of evidence to back it up can be pretty convincing. So we want to hear from all of you guys, though. Who do you think the mushroom is? Do you agree with me? Or if I'm wrong, tell me why. I was just about to say you've convinced me, but the real tough audience are the viewers. <laughs> so let us know in the comments. Do you agree with Kyle? Do you disagree? And if you do, who do you think it is and why do you disagree? Let us know. You know we read, our, read your comments, and we love to see what you guys are thinking. Speaking of comments, you guys, it's time for us to get into our comment of the week. So every week we choose one of your comments from a previous video and shout you out love and or hate because we love you guys. And this week's comment comes from Jacob French who says, I think Kyle having to change his answer just goes to show how the show is adapting to people like Kyle figuring out their celebrities. Um, they are finding out the right level of challenging and fun without being impossible to guess who they are. Thank you, Jacob, for that comment. I think this is a great evaluation. Kyle, I'll let you take it away. I totally agree. I think that's one of the things early on in the show, season one, we were getting so much information about these people that everyone knew who everyone was after the first night, like within an hour of the show airing. And a lot of that was because we got heights of the people. We got a lot of very particular clues that pointed to people and now they're spacing out the meaningful clues i think that's one thing yeah. another thing they're putting in a lot of clues to throw people off or things that might be clues but aren't actually clues and so i think it makes you spend a lot more time noticing the small details and trying to pick those out rather than just noticing the obvious clues that they're giving you and so i think that makes it way more difficult but it's more fun for us because we get to spend more time trying to figure out who these people are. I absolutely agree with you. And it's just one of those things when The Masked Singer first kicked off, it was a brand new show. There hasn't been any show like this. So I feel like just as the performers are figuring themselves out and getting comfortable on the stage, so is the production team and the people making the show. So you really have seen the growth of The Masked Singer. And you know what? I love to see it. It's really good. Yeah, and I even, I even think to when you know, Baby Alien was revealed this season to be Mark Sanchez, no one was predicting Mark Sanchez. People were predicting, predicting like Seth Green and all, you know, all these different people, but no one was really pointing to Mark Sanchez. And so that just goes to show you that they've evolved this to the next level. It's harder than ever, but also you know, we're still seeing a similar level of talent. They're still doing well with getting you know, people to do fun performances on here. They're just making the guessing game kind of get up to that level as well. And, you know, speaking of growth, you know, we have the mass dancer coming soon, you guys. Now, should we, should we tell them now, Kyle? Should we tell them now? Let's do it. Let's tell them. We are covering the mass dancer. So if you love us here with the mass singer, Stay tuned because in December we will also be recapping The Masked Dancer. Now this is totally new for us so we're definitely going to see how that develops and we're going to be chatting and watching with you guys so stay tuned for that. But you know what, let's, let's end today's show. I think we have chatted about so, so much today. Um, <laughs> Kyle, let everybody know where they can find you on social. Yeah, it's came on pleasure on Instagram and Twitter. And then you can find me at double underscore M-E-L-B-A-E. But of course, make sure you're following Talent Recap on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. You are on YouTube right now, so there's no excuse. Click the subscribe button. Make sure you're following us and keeping your notifications on for all our latest videos. And Kyle, I think it's time for us to say, and that's our Talent Recap. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below and then we can talk.